Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So in this video, we're going to be working with a few things uh, that have to do with entity. So I kind of tried some stuff out. I'm going to explain everything I did. But the first thing I want you to do is go into entity.h and I want you to create this function. Virtual const float get distance const vector 2f uh, distance no uh, point whatever uh, and then a const okay and I'm gonna just copy that you want to define that in here so it will be get center get distance it should be down here move here we go get distance so so what this is gonna do is gonna take my center and it's going to get another point and it's going to calculate the distance between those two. All right. And the way you do that in maths is you do the square root of the first of the X positions of both the points. All right. To the power of two. Uh, and then you subtract the Y positions and to the power of two. And then you get one value. And it's probably going to be an integer a distance between two of these positions. But I'm going to convert that to a float because I want to work with floats. So let's do this practically. Okay. Let's go ahead. And you know what we could do? We could just have an entity in here instead. Maybe that's smarter, isn't it? Let's do a entity. Entity reference point. Good. Entity. We'll call it entity as well. Copy that. Put that in here. That's going to be nice because then we can just get the center from that directly. Um, good. So let's do a STD or a uh, squirt. Yeah, squirt. There we go. And this dot get center dot X minus entity dot get center dot X. There we go. Hopefully you'll follow me on all of these plus that good. And what we need before this, I'll keep that as a reference here. What we need before this thing is going to be a pow. Okay. And you want to pow this to the power of two. That's pretty much how pow works. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. So you get that. And then you do the power of two. Okay, good. I'm going to copy this whole thing, actually. And put it here. I'm just going to change this to Y. And I also want this to be absolute. But to the power of two, it will still be absolute. Anyway, whatever. We'll, we'll keep that as it is. I'm going to return. I'm going to say return this directly. Okay. And this is probably going to return a float, yeah. So I'm just going to do a std c out uh, that. Okay, just print that out. Now we have a function called get distance. Good. Now to try this out, we need to go into our game state, states, game state, and we need to go into our update enemy function, update all enemies right here. And then we have a update enemy function itself. Update combat. Let's just do it here. So we have the hit thing. Uh, let's do uh, I dot get distance from this player. Good. Uh, do I need to dereference that? Maybe I should keep that as a pointer. Eh? We'll see. Okay, so the distance is being calculated only when I'm hitting obviously because I'm dumb uh, let's do this outside get distance let's do this outside yep so the closer I get to one of them and uh, the better it gets yeah if I go real close to this one it should go down to zero you see that one zero all right so now we have a get distance function that's great that is great so this is the X 
let us remove this and see how that would be in analog. Like how, how would I do this? So I do control X that, put it in here instead. And let's see if this distance is less than 30 point F, okay, uh, then I can attack. And that seems like a nice thing for a melee weapon. I'm going to remove this C out as well. And now it will work. We're not going to test it right now, but it should work. And that's all good. So what, what I want to do next is I want this update combat function to be called in here. All right. I want it to be called in here. I want to do update enemies and I want it to be called in here. So first step, first things first. We're updating all enemies here. I don't want to do that. I want to control X this. And I want to use my update enemies function here. And just remove that. So we're going to call update enemies instead. This update enemies. And this is going to totally just update all my enemy stuff. All that crap. Um... And that is a, a nice, nice thing. Uh, update combat. Okay. I don't want a second for loop. All right. So the way I'm going to solve this is I'm going to actually have an enemy pointer here. Uh, enemy. Enemy. And then const flow DT. And you'll see how this is going to work. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to go down. Put that in there. Am I even recording, bro? Okay. So this is not going to loop. This is going to take this enemy. And it's going to update for that enemy. So I'm going to remove my for loop from here. And you'll see how cool this is. So uh, I'll remove this. I'll say enemy. Enemy get distance. Hit, that's fine. Uh, and we'll just put this here. I, no, this update combat, I, the T. So you see, that's how it's going to be. And we're, we might change this. We might do something else here. But I think update combat is a great place. This is a great place for it to be. Because you don't want to loop. If you can just remove as many loops as possible, you'll be good. All right. You don't want to loop through stuff all the time. Now I know I'm looping a lot in tile, tile map, but at least this will be a little better. Let's run this now once more. Now let's see, we've restructured some stuff and we just need to make sure that we can attack if we're closer, closer than 30. So this is closer than 30, obviously. Okay. That is 30 right there. Okay, that is good. That is good. That is good. Okay, nice. Nice. That is perfect. The next step, obviously, to attack and defeat stuff, kill stuff, is going to be to uh, to take some damage, to deal some damage. We don't have a lot of variables here right now uh, in our enemy. Um, we don't have a lot in entity either. We have just a bunch of components and all that, sprite, stuff like that. My thought was to add one more class here in between all of these because, I mean, obviously you want HP, you want all that stuff. And Entity doesn't have to have HP, hit points, and all that. Um, but if you have an attribute component, I'm pretty sure you have the ability to uh, get damaged. So let's just check that. Let's recap together because I'm not 100% sure either. Attribute, component... Vitality, HP. Yeah, okay, so you need an attribute component. That is what you need. And a rat gets an animation component. Hitbox component, movement, okay. Let's go ahead into rat and create a this. Create attribute component. I will level it to one. So now we have a bunch of stuff in here that we can get. Very nice, very nice. Uh, enemy CPP, very good. 
and then we should be able to get this out somehow let's see I think I'm gonna keep it in rat for now for example a function called take damage so let's just do that first void take damage like that and we'll define that and also do a const int damage here okay if this HP attribute component dot HP now well you know what we can do lose HP we can just go ahead and do that lose HP damage okay and is this a boolean no it's a void okay all right so now we can take damage and this is what we're going to do in the next video we're going to go ahead and use this and make sure we can kill a rat and delete it from our our game so there you go sorry for the slow video guys and girls been a little off today my my voice isn't completely completely here but we're on we're on some uh we're on a good kind of road right here we're going forward with all this attack stuff hopefully we'll have something working in the next one right uh thanks for watching thanks for sticking with me all the support and all your comments and everything take care and i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye